Okay, so let's talk some homework. We modeled regrouping for addition today. Um, and there are a couple poems that I use with the kids that you might find helpful as we move through this process of two-digit addition. Uh, the first one is, you'll have trouble by the tons if you don't start with the ones. Because we know as adults, whenever we regroup, if we don't start in the ones place, then um, our number of tens will be off. And that's what I want them to begin to recognize. The second one is ten or more, send them next door. So let's jump in and try one. The first one says add 63 and 9. Okay, so they have six tens and three ones, that makes your 63, and then nine ones. We always count the ones first. Um, a lot of kids won't need to physically count them. They will recognize that this one right here is missing a one, and it needs another one to make 10. But some of us are physically counting, and that's okay too. Um, let me just show you the process of physically counting them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and so our poem would be 10 or more, send them next door. What I have them do is take and fill the tin frame. They need one more one to fill this up. Now they've made a 10. Now we say 10 or more, send them next door. So we regroup. I have them mark those out so that they realize that they don't exist anymore. And then we go back and we count what's left over. And I have two ones that are left outside of my regrouping marks. And then I go and I count all the tens, including the one that I did, uh, that I created, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then they should see that add 63 and nine makes four, 72. Let's do add 25 and 58. 25 has two tens and five ones. 58 has five tens and eight ones. You'll have trouble by the tons if you don't start with the ones. Okay, so I see here without having to count them that I need two more to fill up this 10 frame. So I'm just going to take these two from the top there. Now I have created my 10, 10 or more, send them next door. And I have the kids mark these out because they are not there anymore. Then they should see that there are three ones left outside the regrouping marks. Then we go and we count the tens and I see five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so at, if you add 23 and 58, you should get 83. And let's do one last one just to make sure that everybody is on the same page. This one's add 58 and 18. 58 has five tens and eight ones, and 18 has one ten and eight ones. Again, you'll see that the two empty squares in the ten frame tell me that I need to add two ones to that to make ten. So I'm going to just take these guys here, regroup them, 10 or more, send them next door, mark all of those out. And then we should see that we have two, four, six ones outside of the circle. And then we just have to count our tens, five, six, seven. Okay, so they should see that 58 and 18 added together make 76. All right, so tomorrow we'll take this a little step further. So uh, you might want to make sure that the kiddos are following all the steps and remembering those poems. Thanks so much for all your help. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.